and, and instead of having a program. Uh, just a few words that I wanted to say to everybody. You're all very, very welcome. We're delighted to have an audience. Um, something about the start of the project that we're doing here. Personally, I've known and loved theatre for years, but I always felt a little unsatisfied when I saw plays. The play was great, but for whom was it written? And where were they? And were they the audience who were there? I believe that acting, of all the arts, is very close to each of us. We're practically born acting. And that each of us has a story to tell that is as interesting, as meaningful, and as worthwhile as any story that has already been told and written down. We're just waiting for the chance to break the silence. I know the facilitator here. <laughs> But I think it's true to say that working on this has been terrific fun for everybody. We've also learned a great deal and begun to have confidence in newly developing talents. I think that goes for everybody, myself included. We explored many aspects of being alive, being tied down, fearing to break the ties, searching for freedom, and most importantly, I think, we found that sharing the search together made it all possible. We started off calling the session creative drama, but it's probably more truly community drama, a form which I've discovered since is growing all over the country in pockets here and there. People everywhere are finding out that their story stories are important, and more importantly, that they can tell them. And I'd just like to remind everybody that nobody here has ever acted on stage before. That we've only been together for ten hour and a half long sessions and a few rehearsals, which I think were more hard work than anybody at Margaret for they joined it up. What you're going to see is a work in progress. It's not really the finished product. But whatever happens, I would like to have it on record that I feel totally privileged and rewarded to have experienced the explosion of creativity and the sense <coughs> of growing confidence which this little community shared together over the last few weeks and months. And remember, you can talk back when it's all over. Of the sand to soak beneath my feet. Cold, 
stretching far ahead for the colts for me to run as I ran and I ran. And I almost caught at the board. Then hearing in the distance the train speeding to a halt in the station, I shook my head as if to wake myself up from this dream. Realising now that it was not a dream, this was real, I was free.
perhaps two rebirths. Who knows? Stamping their feet, struggling, managing, barely coping, enthusiastic, optimistic, always hoping. You tell you me! Are you are you are so I am not here, kids. I am just oh, up to you. I can't live alone. No, I am serious. I am. I can't live alone to school. I am not to be and then we got never a pencil around no, and there is never a pencil around the pencil. Oh, you have to tell her I'm never I will never tell her I have to go to the doctor she's going to be hell are you uh, going to be hell I'm just up to it I'm sick of them you see I'm just God. sick of them what's the problem wait a second I'm looking for a note for school and I'm very ashamed I can't write a service and I told the kids that I've been the teacher Nancy go down to the school they'll understand you go ahead and go down to them they'll explain your situation they'll understand you know the kids and everything you know if, if you come I'll be mortified if there's anything you know don't worry about that listen have you ever heard of clear it's just down with the teacher to be nice a letter there and then all them kids have to mind and look after and the triplets I asked her to mind two of the triplets before I just don't get a menace I tried to you know but it gave me headaches did you ever discuss contraception with your husband? Um, yeah, well, he's a very healthy man. <laughs> <laughs> I get nervous for sporting children. Yeah, and well, you know what you should do? Go down to clear. The 
do a course, a do-it-yourself course, home vasectomy for wives. <laughs> of hash as they call it in our pocket. I know she's been drinking. I know she's been smoking this. She's in there on her own, but I didn't challenge her. Why did I not? Fear is the reason I didn't challenge her. Fear because even if I do challenge her, there's nowhere for her to go for any sort of help. The Association for the Deaf don't know how to handle drug abuse. The drug treatment centres, social workers and politicians uh, cannot communicate through sign language. So if I do confront her, nowhere to go. On the other hand, I think I'll ring up the Guinness Book of Records because she seems to be so unique. She seems to be the only deaf, non-speaking person who has tried drugs. Where will I turn next for help?
time, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, drinking. Look. Smoking. Get away from your own kitty. I won't take drugs to do it for you. I'm sick of it. Over in which hundreds of civilians were taking shelter, suffered a direct hit. Many innocent people are very killed. Saddam Hussein's army have attacked another Kurdish city with nerve gas. Uh, Some Allied commanders fear the outbreak of nuclear war. The Irish government has allowed American planes to review that channel. For God's sake, get off this has to stop! Stop it now! Jesus, Brent, did you know what? Last night my uncle's been out all hours. I know he's been sniffing that glue and hanging around that guy. I don't know what to do. Nobody seems Hold to be on, interested. just for a minute, let's just put this one down. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda. What did I say? Oh, I was awake half the night to wait. Now, my auntie to come in. I just know he's jay and that's something I'll have to go about because he'll kill himself. Well, you don't have to go out for an aunt to happen. Look at the state of this where I came into. It's who they wait and everything else. But there's no use worrying. How long am I worrying? Right, so now I've got angry. And I'm so angry now I could kill somebody, right? I could kill whoever I want. So what we'll do is we have to do it. We form ourselves together, right? And not only us. We get a load of women with us, and we take onto the streets, and we warn everybody that will listen to us. We're not standing by anymore watching our kids destroy themselves. We all have to do it, because we're the only ones who do care. Yeah. Ready for the dawn again today. Sixteen is too young. Uh, this year, uh, Santa uh, visits Ethiopia. Why, where was he up to now? <laughs> <coughs> Foreign news killed in Finns Park. It's a disgrace. How could something like that happen in Holy Ireland? A bomb goes off in a Belfast hospital, killing innocent people. Integrate the children, Catholic and Protestant, oh. and let them learn to get, live together in oh. peace. Shoplifters sent for Christmas blitz. You know, I feel it should be that the cat and tail. That's just something. Guardian and men's don't in Bleedstown. Something positive should be done about this blatant violence. Liz Taylor marries for the seventh time. Good for her. <laughs> so I firmly thank you, Saddam Hussein. Although you started a war and unfortunately many were killed, maimed and lost all they possessed. You gave us back our daughter. Because fear can heighten a person's power over their lives, we just had to act swiftly. You helped us to detach ourselves from our addict, leave our built-in instincts to protect our young aside, and become dedicated to having our daughter back to normal. Thankfully, we have succeeded, and we have also gained an added bonus. She has become the daughter we have wanted for so long, and a loving sister to her sisters and brothers. So freedom to me is complete. I also realise that in my future there will be many more ways that I will want freedom. But I feel now that I won't sit down and wait for it to come to me, but I will endeavour to find it myself. Go for it. Freedom is having a lie on in the morning. Freedom is time for me. Freedom is strolling along the beach. Freedom is speaking your mind. Freedom is doing what you want, when you want. Freedom is having no worries. Freedom is not having to depend on anyone. Freedom is free from pain. Freedom is losing fear. Freedom is going out and having a good night. Freedom is dreaming. Freedom is making my own decisions. Freedom is not being manipulated. Freedom is a chance to be myself. Freedom is coping with being alone. Freedom is breaking monotonous routine.
started out on the drama, creative drama, let's call it, and none of us knew what we were going into. Um, I think 90% of it is due to Roshi, because she brought out the best of the <laughs> game. She gave us such hope that we never thought this would ever happen today, because we were so upside down and disorganised and everything. And all along the time, she was unbelievable, an unbelievable tutor. Who else is going to join? <laughs> Thank you very much.